The future of mobility on display in the heart of the Motor City. The vehicles of tomorrow taking center stage at the 2023 Detroit Auto Show. And this is industry energized, revived, and the future what you're going to see in mobility right here in Detroit. Tonight, we're looking under the hood at the innovations reshaping the road ahead. Channel 7, shining a spotlight on technology. All eyes turning to the Motor City as the North American International Auto Show returns to downtown Detroit. Good evening. Welcome to Huntington Place. I'm Brian Abel. It is so beautiful and so <laughs> cool and it's bigger. I'm Glenda Lewis. Thank you for joining us live on day one of the 2023 Detroit Auto Show. Dozens of brands are on display this year, showcasing the latest and greatest from the automakers and innovators leading the charge to an all electric future. And tonight we are putting you in the driver's seat for a sneak peek at the hottest technologies transforming the future of mobility. And here on the auto show floor, that future is all around us. Hundreds of exhibitors are here showing off technology that will eventually make its way to our vehicles. And 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels has been here all day getting a first-hand look at the vehicles of tomorrow. Right now, Sarah, what are you seeing? Well, Glenda, Brian, this year at the Auto Show, it is all about the experiences. There are more indoor tracks for people to come and check out. And there are even cars for people to come and smell. That's right, I said smell. Here's a look at our day at the Auto Show. We're going 30 feet out. This is a 40 degree incline on this mountain. How does that feel? I mean, you can ski <laughs> straight down. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Nothing kicks off a day at the auto show like dropping your co-worker's phone because these experiences are just that sharp and quick. And you can see <laughs> how fast we were going. We started our day at Ford's Built Wild Track Experience where you can drive in a Bronco Badlands model with pros like YOLO who will walk you through the newest tech such as the sway bar disconnect. It is what is called the stay bar disconnect and it is this button right here. Feel how it drops that down. This is yeah. the only vehicle on the market that has this technology. It is a hydraulic disconnect. Last obstacle. You guys ready? Ready hey, to catch a little air? A little, wait, hold on to this. Oh, hold, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad, right? Not at all, but if you need a break from experiencing turbulence, the future of vehicle luxury is ready for you at Lincoln. Monica, you told me that this car has sense. It does, it does. So there are actually three scents that come with this vehicle. Digital Scent is a new feature to the Lincoln brand. They are right here underneath the center console. The display, we are able to diffuse the scent into the vehicle. So it registers Mystic Forest, Violet Cashmere, and Ozonic Azure. I can already smell it. Reinvigorated, we walked past the Jeep Kids Zone where kids can rock climb and drive in their own mini Jeeps to the Camp Jeep Indoor Track Experience. We're in the 2024 Wrangler 392. Here, Precision Driver Zachary ended our day with a look at what's new. So this is the first time anyone will ever be able to walk underneath an off-road hill. They'll walk underneath and you can see all of the mechanisms that are gonna be able to working as we're climbing. And a view of the show. It's Channel 7 right there. And there are only two other driving experiences here at the auto show. There is the EV driving experience, which we're going to show you in just a little bit, and the Ram experience, which we are on right now. All in all, Glenda, Brian, it is just such an interactive year to come to <laughs> the auto show. <laughs> A lot of fun, Sarah. I'll take a little eucalyptus, please. Uh, right. <laughs> Thank you. Sense in the car is pretty incredible. It's like she had a great time. Yeah, she did. Second year, this reimagined Detroit Auto Show has rolled into the Motor City in September. Now, organizers making the big move last year after a three year hiatus, expanding beyond the show floor for the first indoor outdoor setup in the show's history. And that new tradition continues this year with ride along activations. We saw Sarah getting down inside Huntington Place and EV ride and drivers on Detroit's Grand Prix circuit, letting showgoers see, touch, test and feel the future. So joining us now is Detroit Auto Show Chairman Thad Zott. 
Thad, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Gosh, 38 brands here participating. That's double the number of last year. How exciting is this to have everybody on board for Detroit? Well, we've been working at this for over a year, so yeah. we're just thrilled to kick off Media Day, ready to showcase this to the media, but we're ready to showcase this to the public on Saturday where they can come in, see all this new technology, see these 38 brands that we've worked our butts off and <laughs> getting here at this show, and so we're just uh, thrilled to get things rolling. So cool. Thad, I know the show is uh, expected to immerse people in the technologies yeah. that are shaping our tomorrow, shaping the world around us in turn. Uh, what can people expect and are there any surprises maybe for visitors here? Well, we always have surprises up our sleeves, so stay tuned. But <laughs> I will tell you that the showgoers that have questions about this technology, and I think a lot of your watchers do have questions, what does it feel like to drive, to drive an EV? It sounds different, it feels different, and we have activations where people can actually experience this technology, whether it's a four x four Jeep that's electric going straight up a hill, or our EV track in the back where you'll feel the acceleration down a acceleration lane that's longer than a football field. Mm. So cool back there. Isn't I mean, the it? tires are screeching, everybody's having a great time. A lot of energy and a lot of excitement. Yeah, Thad, thank you for Our all pleasure. your hard work. Oh, we this show is beautiful. Thank you, sir. A pleasure, yeah. Thad. Yeah, thank you so much. You guys too. Yeah, we're looking forward right. to it. Thad Zott, again, chairman of the Detroit Auto Show. Thanks for your time. Our pleasure. <laughs> The Automobile D showcase is back this year and bigger than ever before. The expanded exhibit showing off the cutting edge digital platforms driving the future of mobility. And 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid joins us live now with a look at how computers and cars are converging for us. With over 50 techs on display and 150 startups taking part in the Automobility Technology Showcase, there's so much to see, but here are my top three. This is Real Wear Navigator 520, basically a wearable tablet. And Mike, this is a game changer because? It allows individuals to get the work done being hands-free. How does the tech even work? There's a boom arm, which is the display, and then there's four digital microphones that you can speak to, and it's just the text on the screen. And then there's a camera right up here that can rotate, and if you want to do a video call, that's how you utilize it, or take photos and record videos. And this is actually being used in the real world. Yeah. From video calls to machine inspections and even logistics, Mike says these headsets are the present and future. From wearable to rideable, this is May Mobility, an autonomous vehicle currently deployed in Ann Arbor. Brittany, how is this being used? So, May Mobility is a little bit unique. Our vehicles are actually used as part of public transit, so we're really focused on making transportation more safe, sustainable, and accessible for everyone. So how safe is it? It's very safe. They don't get tired, they don't get a text message they need to pay attention to. We also have a safety operator who sits in the front seat so he can monitor how the vehicle is behaving, make any changes if needed, and also to serve a customer service role and to help people, you know, onboard the vehicle. Detroit is set to get the service next year, but Ann Arbor currently has five of these vehicles that are wheelchair accessible and can be booked for free through the May Mobility app. From rideable to flyable. We've all heard about delivery drones. Well, this is different primarily. It's a combined research project between Michigan State University and NASA. Nick, what else makes it different? So there's a student at MSU who had an idea to kind of overcome the challenges with drone delivery. Why don't we just have drones land on top of city buses and other public transportation vehicles to ride along to their destination, kind of like humans do. What's the future of drone technology? Another project that this team is working on is called LEADS. Uh, we're planning on using optical power uh, to charge a drone mid-flight. That way the drone doesn't have to land and recharge its batteries and it can last for much longer. Now, Automobility is part of Detroit, uh, Detroit Auto Show, and of course it's here until September 24th. So much to look at. There's this cool technology where basically you can charge your electric vehicle without even stepping out. It's almost like Brian that heard you complain, and now there's a solution for it. You want to come check it out? It's Automobility is the place to be. For now, Brian, Glenda, it's black to you. <laughs> I, I've been waiting yeah. for EVs to be able to just pull up on top of a piece of concrete and boom, and yeah. to see all that, like the wearable technology, it's incredible. Yeah, more Faraz in a headset. <laughs> <laughs> Emphasis on the D. Still to come tonight, going electric. Coming up, everything you need to know about making the switch and staying charged at home and on the road. And America's best-selling pickup, getting a high-tech upgrade. The smart features on the way to the new Ford F-150 series. That and more still ahead on our Spotlight on Technology special. We're back in just a moment.
It's that time. The Detroit Auto Show is off to a thrilling start with some red hot reveals from the big three. The 2025 Cadillac CT5, the 2024 GMC Acadia, and the 2024 Jeep Gladiator all making their global debut today right here in the Motor City. Meantime, Ford got the party started last night, unveiling an upgrade to America's best-selling pickup. Yeah, the Dearborn automaker taking over Hart Plaza on the eve of the auto show to roll out the new 2024 F-150. It comes with 10 standard driver assist features and advanced towing and hitch assist technology. Now, buyers can also opt for an onboard generator, 5G Wi-Fi, and access to Ford's hands-free highway driving system. The updated model also getting a design refresh across the entire F-150 series. The new truck set to roll off the line this fall, hitting showroom floors early next year. A lot of people can't wait for that one. Yeah. Now, we've all heard electric vehicles will revolutionize how we get around, but many of us still have questions about owning an EV and keeping it running on the road. Well, this year, the powering Michigan team has set up an all new experience at the auto show to help provide some answers. So much focus at the North American International Auto Show is on electric vehicles, and you can ride along a variety of EVs in the Powering Michigan EV Experience Track. And thanks to Nika and IBW58, learn everything there is to know about EV charging in the Powering Michigan EV Learning Center. Jason, tell us a little bit more about this learning center. Aaron, we designed this EV Learning Center to showcase the many kind of chargers, whether it be the residential grade charger for your home or the fast chargers for the public stations. The attendees for the show can ride in any one of those many EV EVs on the test track. So visit the EV Learning Center to learn more about all things EV. Well, and I've already learned so much, but to make the transition to electric vehicles successful, I know that it's going to take a lot of charging stations. Byron, tell us how your team is preparing the workforce. For over a decade, Local 58 has been preparing its members to install vehicle chargers in your homes, businesses, schools, and fleets. Our EVITP charging classes have prepared hundreds of certified electricians who are ready to meet the EV challenge. Well, and it sounds like your electricians are definitely prepared for the job. Indeed. Andre, what else should we consider when charging at home? Well, since 80% of charging is going to occur at home, you want to look at level two charging, which takes about four to eight hours in order to get a good charge on your car. You also want to look at further technologies like smart panels, battery storage, and also for Lightning, which acts as a battery storage system for your home with bi-directional charging. Thank you so much, Andre. Thank you. Well, what happens when you're not charging at home? Jason, tell us a little bit more about the systems that are currently going in throughout the state. Aaron, you can find DC fast chargers like this in level two public charging that's going in all across the state of Michigan. Range anxiety and the ability to find a charger is an issue. We're working with the state, the customers, and also industry leaders to install this equipment during this exciting time of the vehicle transition. Well, thank you so much for all the great information and for all that you're doing with this transition. You don't want to miss your chance to experience the Powering Michigan EV Learning Center and EV Track experience here at the show and get ready to go electric. For more information, visit poweringmichigansfuture.com. Maybe a little less EV anxiety after that. Aaron, thank you. Well, the roads of the future made in Michigan. Coming up, the groundbreaking projects changing how we'll get around Metro Detroit. And automakers racing to an all-electric future coming up next. Life in the fast lane, the all-new EV experience at the Detroit Auto Show. That and more still to come as we shine a spotlight on technology. We are back after this. Sure. What you gonna be? We can take a ride outside up in the clouds, look it down and then you'll see. Hey, so stop now. We can love to say what you Auto show visitors will get a chance to kick the tires on some of the most exciting electric vehicles out on the market. The all new powering Michigan EV experience debuts this year, putting showgoers behind the wheel in cars from seven leading EV brands. And Sarah Michaels joins us with a first hand look and a spin around the track, Sarah. Hey, that's right, you guys. We are out on the EV track for the very first time. There are seven different brands represented out here, but right now we want to take you along for a ride that is very special. We're about to get into the GMC Hummer EV pickup. Let's do it. Riding along in the Hummer. Yeah. This has been a hot topic all across the auto show. 
What's so great about yeah, this? So what can people experience? This is our GMC Hummer EV Edition 1 pickup. So it has a range of 329 miles on a full charge. You'll see we have the roof panels taken off, all four come off. They can store in the e-trunk in the front. You have a full open air experience here on the EV track today. And we are going to experience lots of freedom. So you'll be going zero to 60 in about three seconds here. Three, two, one, floor it. <laughs> Out. You feel the wind in your hair, the roof panels are off. You get also a little bit of the wafting of all the food at yep. the auto show, you so do. I like that. <laughs> and is this something going on all weekend? Can anybody come up, fill out a waiver, and try this? Yes, yeah, cool. We have the vehicles out here. We have um, the Hummer EV SUV as well. Oh, fantastic. Thank you guys so Thank much you. for having us. No, happy to have you. I will say we have had the pleasure of doing a lot of the different experiences here at the auto show, but that is definitely the fastest we've been able to go. It's happening here at the EV track. You have to come out and experience it for yourself. Truly, you're able to see the future of technology right here in Detroit, you guys. Glenda, Brian. Looks like so much fun, Sarah. Thank you. Like more of a roller coaster ride than a ride in a Hummer, I right? I can't wait to get in. <laughs> it's yeah, not just the like... cars of the future being made in Michigan. We are also building the roads of the future. Construction of America's first public EV charging road. It's happening right now in Detroit. Inductive charging pads have been installed on 14th Street near Michigan Central Station with more on the way. EV drivers there will soon be charging their cars on the go. MDOT is also installing cab lanes along a stretch of I-94 for connected and automated vehicles. The technology will allow smart cars to communicate with the road to ease congestion. The goal is to eventually build a 26 mile connected corridor between Detroit and Ann Arbor. Pretty incredible. All right, onward and upward. Your daily commute going airborne. After the break, a glimpse into a future where the sky is the limit. But first, a sneak peek at the hottest EVs turning heads on the auto show floor next. We are back now with a look at some of the hottest EVs catching our eye on the show floor, starting with the 2024 Corvette E-Ray. Hot. Yeah, the electrified all-wheel drive hybrid making the cut today as a semifinalist for North American Car of the Year. The E-Ray promises to be Chevy's fastest vet yet, going from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds with a top speed of over 180. It adds the raw performance of a 6.2 liter LT2 V8 engine, but it also adds electrification modern technology to improve the performance. The E-Ray is expected to hit showroom floors later this year. They'll start with just under $105,000. The 2024 Mustang Mach-E Rally also turning heads. Ford's first ever rally inspired EV ready to hit the dirt with a range of 250 miles per charge. And Stellantis is attracting attention with its first all electric pickup. The 2025 Ram 1500 REV is rev is due out next year, boosting boasting 650 horsepower and up to 500 miles of range. That's a lot. <laughs> Innovations in air mobility. Let's take it to the air. Also making headlines at the Detroit Auto Show, full-size flying cars, once considered science fiction, are now well on their way to becoming a viable option. And let's send it back to Faraz Javid with a look at a future where the sky is the limit for us. The future has arrived. This is called Air One. It's the first of its kind flying car that doesn't need a runway. It's manufactured by an Israeli company. Yeah. I got Ronnie here with me. Ronnie, tell me how is this even possible? So we have a patent technology with flight control system and special wing-borne drones. So you may say we have a hundred mile range. It's a two-seater. Uh, we in in invested a lot of money and efforts in, in the interior, as you can see. Uh, how fast can it fly? It can fly up to 150 miles per hour. Cruising is about 100. In terms of practicality, how practical is this? Because it's too wide. Uh, well, first of all, if you have a big lawn, you can land it, but it falls to the size of an F-150. Really? And can go on a trailer, of course. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what about the controls? I see it's pretty simple. 
Yeah. So in the center you have an aviation grade screen, mm -hmm. which which tells you what to do, and on your side you have infotainment. You know your music, your phone, and so forth. You control it with only one stick, of course. That no is, pedals, no throttle. That is absolutely amazing, Ronnie. Congratulations! Thank Can't you. wait to see this. And of course, Brian Glenda, this is going to be available in the states early next year. So you know what? My next live shot is going to be from here. All right. So be jealous for now. It's back to you. All right, McFly, where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> Thanks for us. We have had a great time test driving the future with you tonight. Thank you so much for joining us as we celebrate the return of the Detroit Auto Show. We hope to see you downtown for all of the fun this weekend. Have a great night.